moment all designers get so excited about. It's that moment where we get to bring our clients into the finished product. It's where all the elements come together to work perfectly to create the home of their dreams. This is the reveal, and I'm so excited to bring you in and let you be a part of it. Judy Lee Carr, I am the interior designer and owner of Jubilee Interiors based in Southern California. Today we are in Westlake Village. It is just a little outside of LA. It's a beautiful neighborhood and a wonderful community. And I am going to show you a client's project that we worked on furnishing her home. It is in a corner lot. The house is beautiful. The landscape is stunning. The architectural details is just super. And I'm so excited to show you around. As you pull up to the house, the first thing you notice is this beautiful manicured landscaping. And then you see these windows that are the original prairie style architectural details that translate into the front door and the rest of the house. So as we enter the house, the first thing that you will see is this beautiful fixed glass window that mirrors to the exterior and we kept it original because that's the whole entire purpose. We wanted to have a statement piece as we come into the house. A statement entryway is so important because I always like to think an entryway as the first impression of a house and you judge a book by its cover that way. And you would see the pendant that we picked out, it mirrors, it ties in with everything, all the different elements that we have going on here. Here we have a mirror with these two amazing sconces flanking it and the mirror has a really beautiful grid and a patina, it just shows it's aging and it looks really antique and it just looks so good. are in the living room the style in here is just so eclectic we mixed so many different pieces together the client already has inventory from her previous apartment and we introduced so many new furniture and pieces that you wouldn't think of mixing together but they work For example, the sofas are velvet sofas. You wouldn't think of mixing them with natural elements such as jute, um, rattan ropes and wood pieces. They just go so well together. The 
these wall sconces, you saw it in the entryway, we brought it into the living room as well. They have this beautiful silver fluted finish that is so unique and it's unlike anything I've really seen. And then we brought in this floor lamp, which is really completely different styles, but hey, it works. The coffee table was a furniture piece that the client had already previously. It's such a statement piece, we loved it and we wanted to work the room around it. So we brought in different circular elements such as the ottoman, the light fixture, and it really, really put the space together. This is the sitting room. This is the room where the homeowners would sit and relax after a long day. The first thing you would see in this room is the massive amount of art pieces that are really eclectic. They bring so much character to the space. It feels really cozy, interesting, and unique. The homeowners already had a collection of whirly decor and art pieces. Everything in this sitting room, including the furniture, are existing from their previous home. And they all fit excellently in this space. Right across from the sitting room is the kitchen. Everyone knows that the kitchen is the heart and center of the house and in this kitchen, it's not any different. My favorite part of this kitchen are the tiles on the backsplash. They are this beautiful ceramic handcrafted tile that looks so artisanal because it's so raw looking and I really love it. A white kitchen is just like a blank canvas. Pops of wood on this range hood adds warmth to the space. The contrasting black island and bar stools adds a dark element to a palette that really needs to be grounded. It's a classic neutral look that the homeowners love. We mix metals in this space, so mixing metals adds so much visual interest and depth to a singular room. Of course, it has to be done strategically, and when done right, it can come off really effortlessly. In this kitchen, we used brush brass as its main dominant shade as it brings in the warmth to the white canvas. The polished nickel on a faucet exudes a charm and a really rich atmosphere. It is such a subtle detail, mixing metals, but it delivers a clear design intent to add an element for attention. The kitchen is not 
which is aesthetically pleasing, it is also very functional. One thing that's so worth mentioning is this beautiful island that has two different countertop. It's mixed with the butcher block and the hone quartz surface. It's not just great for cooking, but also great for entertaining, for eating when you have large parties, and it's just so great. This is the coziest breakfast nook ever. One thing I love most about the breakfast nook is bringing these outdoor chairs indoors. It is such a fun creative spin to a typical dining corner. These wicker dining chairs has such an interesting silhouette and beautiful texture. The throw pillows on the banquette was intended to create visual interest. So instead of doing the typical matching pillows, I simply wanted to achieve a casual cozy corner. Therefore, I mixed in different textures, patterns, colors, but they all coordinate and tell the same story. For a bay window with chamfered corners like this space, the best kind of tables should somehow be elliptical, whether if it's round, oval, or pill-shaped. That way the flow of space wouldn't be disrupted by linear and angular lines. favorite colors are black and white and it is shown in this living room it is stunning black and white are all over and the rugs and the light fixtures and even the decorative elements and art pieces the family room is one of the most popular rooms in the house it's the least formal space which means perfect for entertaining casual day-to-day -day lounging and just simply hanging out coffee table in the family room has a multi-tiered stacking table look, which is not only very interesting but also very functional, especially when you have multiple guests cozying up in the family room, it offers convenience and generous amount of flexibility in the space. The bar in the corner was custom built by the builders of the home. It is tucked at the far end of the house, roofed with this putty colored turret. I instantly knew I wanted a statement light fixture peeping out from the corner, but also keeping it subtle and organic to flow with the rest of the house. This raffia pendant has a stacked silhouette which makes it really unique. Its size is large enough to make a statement, but the color and material is subtle enough to blend towards the roof ridge, which I truly adore. My favorite part of the bar is this plumbing fixture. It is to die for. The faucet is in this polished brass with these wheels. It's so unique and it ties in with the hardware. The cabinet hardware has these matte black and brass finish and they just really work well in this space. This is one of the guest bedrooms of the house. It is one of my favorite rooms because it's so bright and white in here. There are a lot of textures and layers going on. And it is not just beautiful, but it's really functional. And it's one of the rooms that is being used the most because it is also the office space.
again with small spaces, I am not afraid to go big. Thankfully, the homeowner's tastes are anything but boring. This beaded round chandelier creates a statement in an otherwise simple, straightforward bathroom. This guest bathroom in here is one of a kind. I love a good vanity console and I'm so happy that we did it in this space. You can see this beautiful Carrera marble countertop with the matte brass hardware. It's just stunning and in such a small space, we went big and drama with the light fixture. fixture is huge. It's such a statement piece. It has these whitewashed beads that play such a huge contrast against the grey painted turrets and it really works well in this space. Absolutely nothing not to love about this bedroom. It is the primary bedroom. There's just so much going on. The wall, Juju wall feathers, this chandelier, the four poster beds, and this antique bench. It's just amazing. My favorite part is this chandelier. It's such a statement. It's such a bold, loud piece that you just can't not love. The inspiration behind the primary bedroom revolved around this chandelier. The whitewashed wooden sticks and curvature design is so eclectic and such an intriguing feature. Most of the rest of the house you have seen shows a lot of black and white in the color scheme. With this primary bedroom, however, it features more of an earthy tone, natural palette with organic textures. With these elements, it exudes comfort and warmth into a space, which is perfect for the space that you retreat to and call sanctuary at the end of a long day. Welcome to the primary bathroom. There is absolutely nothing not to love about this space. The builders JRP design and remodel did a phenomenal job. I think what makes this space feel so good is the symmetry. Symmetry always makes a space put together very nicely. My favorite parts about this bathroom are mixing of metals. You would see the cabinet hardware and a brass finish the plumbing fixtures and the nickel finish and we even have like the mirrors and a matte black finish. It just feels very different and it's not commonly done to mix all three different metals together. Another thing I really love is this bathtub. The bathtub, I just want to soak in it all day. parts of this property is the massive backyard we have out here. In Southern California, we have perfect weather all year round and that's why we created this outdoor lounging space where the homeowners can just relax, sit back and live their best life out here. We 
us with the concept of California casual living. So we picked up furniture pieces that felt really organic, light, and has that neutral palette, such as this accent chair and that black and white rope finish, and that three-seater sofa large enough to cuddle up five people, and it's such a great space to throw big parties. What is an outdoor space without an outdoor fireplace? This fireplace is so awesome because it functions on both sides and it's perfect for the winter. This outdoor lounge chair was custom built with the intention for the clients to be out in the morning to read their book or to do a meditation session. It's so deep and it's so, so cozy. Having different pockets of lounging spaces makes this outdoor patio very relaxing. There is a corner for everything that you want to do, even bird watching. The idea of organic modern living is a lifestyle that I live by while designing spaces. Here I've introduced furnishing pieces that add an inviting yet casual aesthetic, but also very classic and not too overly trendy. I've only lived in California for a little more than three years. But upon moving here, the one trend that I recognize right away is that it is all about indoor-outdoor way of living. Which doesn't surprise me since the weather is just magnificent all year round. With that thought in mind while designing outdoor spaces, I realize that I tend to gravitate to its organic comfort and modern pieces with a laid-back yet elevated look. One of the standout feature of this property is this walkway lined with these gorgeous white rose bushes that leads you to the key feature of this house. The pool is the gem of the property. It is lined with gorgeous landscape throughout, white roses everywhere. It even has a fountain for the birds and a hot tub. Do the homeowners spend a lot of time outdoors? 100% yes. The homeowners, they both work from home, so being confined indoors all the time, outdoor spaces have become their sanctuaries. It is almost therapeutical for both the mind and soul. This little corner of the property is a little oasis from the house. It is paved with this river rock that is just on its own and it's perfect for lounging and reading a book under this shaded tree. When designing a house, the client's lifestyle is so crucial to the design process. The clients here love board watching, and that's why we source these gorgeous slingback chairs that overlooks the gorgeous backyard.
spacious kitchen to the beautiful bedrooms and lounge areas. There are so many rooms in this house that really express the homeowner's personality and lifestyle. I'm so glad I got to be a part of their home and bring all the details together from the cabinet pools to the wall sconces. It was such a fun project and nothing feels better than knowing that my clients have a cozy and functional space they can enjoy. My name is Judy Lee Carr and this has been The Reveal.